Helicopters crashing into Lake Apopka. Will Disney's district repeal cause higher taxes? Orange County failing to act at Bird Island in Windermere. And three families that could use our support. The date is April 28th, 2022. We're going to go through these stories and more. Welcome to West Orange on the Go. My name is Austin Arthur, and this is where we do local news and comments. And when I say local news, I mean hyper-local. West Orange, this is your news. We begin in 10 seconds. You're listening to West Orange on the Go. Brought to you by the West Orange Times and Observer. Hosted by Austin Arthur. West Orange on the Go. Two helicopters descended from the sky and into Lake Apopka on Tuesday. Now, these two incidents, although occurring on the same day, happened separately. Now, all the details are still being confirmed, but there are some reports that state the pilots became affected by pesticides before falling into the water. And it may be that this is the treatment of hydrilla, which has been desperately needed on the lake. This is all still being confirmed, so we will keep you updated But most importantly, the pilots are reported to be okay. Next story. When will the county consider the Bird Island Ordinance? The short answer, no one knows. And that has left Windermere leaders and residents unsatisfied. And the story goes on in this week's paper with all the details. But the county commission was scheduled to discuss the issue at 9 a.m. at its March 22nd workshop meeting. But it was delayed for more than seven hours. At the end of the workshop, the county commission took no action. The whole thing is laid out by the great Annabelle Sykes in this week's paper. And essentially, it appears that Orange County Mayor Jerry Dimmings is responsible for the holdup. This is an unfortunate thing, of course, because... Well, the town would have taken care of this a long time ago. They've been urging the county to act, but the jurisdiction is on them. So maybe if you are a proud West Orange resident, or if you maybe you live in Windermere, maybe you live on the lake, I encourage you to consider emailing the mayor of Orange County at mayor at ocfl.net. That's mayor at ocfl.net. So, you know, email him. Of course, give him our great West Orange character of politeness um, and respect. But I think it's important that sometimes we become active in communication with our leaders. Okay. Now this. Following widespread speculation... That SB4C, which abolishes the Reedy Creek Improvement District, would raise property taxes in Orange and Osceola counties. Governor Ron DeSantis on Friday said that would not be the case. Quote, it is not the understanding or expectation of SB4C, abolishing independent special districts, to cause any tax increases for the residents of any area in Florida. He continued on. In the near future, we will propose additional legislation to authorize additional special districts in a manner that ensures transparency and an even playing field under the law. End quote. The governor also stated that people will ask about services and utilities, that he is going to take care of it, that uh, residents do not need to worry, that they've had it all worked out. He says, quote, don't let anyone tell you somehow Disney's going to get a tax cut out of this. They're going to pay more in taxes as a result of this, end quote. So it doesn't seem that as of yet there is any substantive support for these statements. But we will take a close watch because this is a hyper local issue as we're talking about potential tax implications For us here in West Orange County. So as I have promised you, we will stay on top of this issue. Now let's go into our sports highlight. Zachary Toby of Ocoee, 
has been playing football since he was five years old. He is currently in his junior year at Ocoee High School and at 16 years old has already received 17 offers from different universities to play football. His committing date is set for July 7th, his father's birthday. So a special congratulations to young Mr. Toby and to senior Mr. Toby. You must be very proud. Now, let me tell you about this weekend. We have a great event here in Winter Garden. Now, it's actually been going on for the whole month. Uh, if you go downtown Winter Garden, you'll see there's lots of art displays. You can go to the City Hall and see some beautiful work there. All kinds of stuff is out, and this weekend is the last week, and it's culminating with a very special VIP event, which you can buy tickets for. Uh, a great way to support the arts here in Winter Garden. Uh, you know, around 8 p.m., there will be a beautiful uh, display at the Winter Garden City Hall. Bring a chair and watch this beautiful display. They're going to be, you know, during the holidays, uh, you've seen it, or during Halloween, you've seen it. They they do this huge, like a projection onto the whole entire building itself, the City Hall building. So they're going to be doing that kind of projection, but it's going to be these beautiful art pieces uh, from the Sobo Gallery. That's our Winter Garden Art Gallery. So visit downtownwg.com for all the details. But I will tell you, if you like the arts, if you enjoy West Orange generally and Winter Garden becoming more of a arts community, well, come out to this event, 8 p.m. this Saturday, April 30th. And as I mentioned, there's an extended VIP event that night, and you would be wise to get some tickets if you can. Uh, you're going to enjoy it. Lots of things are set up. Now, before we go into the final story, let me tell you about our sponsor. And that is Foundation Academy, a private school in Winter Garden. Uh, been around for decades. The church they are associated with, the Winter Garden First Baptist Church, has been around for, you know, I think it's close to 100 years, okay? So this is a deeply rooted organization within our community here in West Orange. My daughter goes to this school, and I couldn't tell you enough how grateful I am. They're great. They, I know what they're teaching my child. I, I have a great relationship with them. I, I hear great things. You know, my daughter does the Pledge of Allegiance, a little prayer, you know, that's how I like it. I'm a traditional guy, okay? So if you're like that, if you're looking for private education for your child or maybe private education for your grandchild, I mean, goodness, if you're looking for private education for your niece, you know, your sister, she's looking, you want to help, Foundation Academy, where character matters. Right into the final page here, a story by staff writer, Andrea Mujica, and she writes, In March of this year, 26-year-old Denzel Irving knew something was wrong. The Winter Garden native was a star defensive back for Foundation Academy. He later played Division I football for UNC Charlotte, and at 26 years old, is now a high school football coach. At first, Denzel thought he had COVID-19. He had similar symptoms, but a subsequent test came back negative. For about two weeks, he tried to tough it out. But on March 29th, he couldn't take it any longer. He had vomited nearly a dozen times that day, yet he still went to work. Eventually, he took himself to the hospital. Now, doctors told Denzel that his heart was failing. It was only working at 10% capacity. What's more is that he had fluid building up around his heart and in his lungs and filling up his stomach. And since then, he's been at the hospital. He's been waiting for a new heart. It's a shocking diagnosis for Denzel and his family, but it could have been worse. His father said, quote, if he would have been 45 minutes to an hour later, we would be having a different conversation. 
You see, that's what the doctors told them. They said, 45 minutes, an hour later, he could have been dead. Both parents, Mr. and Mrs. Irving, are currently with him, helping him and supporting him during his stay at the hospital. The father is quoted again here, it's been mostly spiritual support. We are people of faith. And as a result of us being people of faith, we raised him around the church and in the church. So a lot of times when we get in a hard situation, we definitely turn back to our faith. End quote. There is currently no time frame for Denzel and no prediction of when he will receive a heart. He's currently on the transplant list, but only being added a week ago, they say it could take days, weeks, months. There's really no way of knowing. You know, this sort of thing makes me think about the importance of getting things checked out. We often ignore signs and symptoms and just brush them off. My my brother and I have, you know, sometimes I have a back and forth with this. You know, he's a tough guy and Whenever he has something going on, he just wants to stick it out. He doesn't want to get anything checked out. But, you know, I say, I say, hey, brother, Xander, you, you know, you got to get that checked out. That's what we got the doctors for. You got to go see one. You know, maybe it's something serious. But he typically doesn't. But, you know, he has before. You know, just if something's going on. You know, I, I don't know what it could be. But in general, I think it's just wise, a good practice to be careful. I mean, look at this kid. He's 26 years old. Okay. You see the picture in the paper. He's, holy cow, he's super fit, you know, strong guy, young, and um, the heart's failing. He's going two weeks. He barely made it to the hospital. So it's a, it's a good lesson to be, to be careful, to be cautious. You know, I... Uh, I believe that we live in a world of free will. We have free will, and so do the molecules and viruses and cancers. They can take you, so we have to be vigilant and we have to fight. I mean, goodness. With Denzel, 45 minutes. Holy cow. Just remember that God's plan requires you to be an active partner. You have to be active. You have to be vigilant. You are not God's puppet. So if you don't act, everything that happens, well, that's not not just the way it was supposed to be necessarily. I mean, I don't believe that. I believe that we have to act and we have to be aware. So this is a good uh, reminder that if you got something weird going on, you got some strange ailment, Maybe some illness that you're, you're not quite feeling right about. You know, maybe you, you get it checked out, okay? Now, his family is running a GoFundMe page to raise donations to help with medical expenses. His father states, quote, We are helping him financially because this put a big hit on his finances. As parents, no matter how old he gets, he's still my son. End quote. Uh, you know, I feel terrible. There are two other important pieces that I just don't have the time to get into. Uh, you know, I have a certain amount of time with you. Uh, one of them is about the Kelly family of Windermere. Jenna Kelly and her four kids have been going through a very, well, really a terrible time. Her husband and you know, the kid's father had a terrible brain injury. I definitely checked that out. And the, the third one is... It's about a West Orange graduate, Lucas Cawthorn, who, who passed away in a, a motorcycle accident on the 15th. He was only 19 years old. So I, I'd like for you to take a look at this week's paper and you, know, you can learn about these stories and, and what's going on here in our community with these families. We'll include all the GoFundMe links in there, all three of them, because I think that you know, they could use support financially. So if you can, if you have the ability even to just, just to give something, uh, you know, I would encourage you to check out those links and more powerfully, you know, to send prayers, send prayers to these families. 
You know, these prayers are powerful. Although humans and other living organisms have free will, we must beseech the Almighty for intervention. And if it can align with His plan and His planned purpose, well, I believe, check that, He will and does respond. This has been Austin Arthur with the West Orange Times and Observer. And until next week, have a happy and blessed weekend. West Orange on the Go is brought to you by the West Orange Times and Observer. Hosted by Austin Arthur. West Orange on the Go.